viewers, welcome to my channel. My name is Isabel from thetarotempress.com. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm going to be doing your tarot card reading now. So Taurus, what I'm picking up from the tarot cards is that someone is going through a great deal of grief and sadness, okay? I feel like this could be coming from a breakup, things falling apart. The individual you are dealing with might have a hard time coping with what has happened. I am picking up from the tarot cards that something big may have went down. I feel like it may have been very unexpected where the two of you just went your separate ways or, you know, an argument or fight happened and it just got out of hand really, really fast. It might not have been, you know, something that you saw coming. I feel like there was a lot of pain there. But let's get more clarity. Okay, so that tarot card is showing to me that someone has been very stubborn in the situation. Someone has been holding on to things as they are not wanting to make changes, not wanting to do things differently. And that sort of energy has been preventing movement and progress. It might have been very frustrating for both of you. I feel like that could have led to the breakup. That could have led to the downfall of the relationship. I'm also noticing that with this particular tarot card, ego is involved. So someone's pride was essentially getting in the way of the situation. Sometimes when you get into a relationship with a person, everything seems to be going well, and then they have certain insecurities or issues, and it comes up in the form of this defense where they want to protect their own individual space. They want to protect who they are as an individual, and they feel like, you know, if someone tries to give them advice or if something is going wrong, they don't want to take accountability because obviously it can't be their fault you know so I feel like in relationships it's always 50 50 or sometimes if someone deliberately does something outright like cheating for example you know then you know that uh, the responsibility of that affair goes on their back but I feel like in most cases it's an equal amount of responsibility that has to be accepted in a relationship now what I see from these tarot cards is that Okay, so this person is trying to wait it out. I feel like they're trying to be as patient as possible in this situation. 
This has been tough for them because they have been struggling with the fact that things haven't been moving as fast as they would like. I feel like they do want a serious commitment with you, but on their own terms. I feel like this person wants to invest into the situation, okay? From a financial point of view, I feel like they see it as a relationship that has longevity. They see it as one that can grow and build, okay? But from like a relationship point of view, they know that it's going to tick off most of their boxes when it comes to happiness. So it's a win-win solution here for both of you to come back together despite whatever happened that tore the two of you apart. I feel like from these tarot cards, you know, this person wants to be more nurturing, more kind, more generous towards you. So there is that impression that I'm also getting here from the tarot cards. But let's clarify that. Yeah, I feel like this person has been watching you very closely, right? And they have the intention of either offering you love or presenting love to you. They are starting to look at you in a different way. I feel like they want to go out. They want to have fun with you. They don't want to be cooped up in their home. They want to actually enjoy life. And this is where this person is coming from. So for some of you, you might expect someone that's, you know, that you've dated or that you've broken up with to want to go somewhere with you. And I feel like this could be a spur of the moment kind of thing. So this could be this individual that pops out, pops back into your life and asks you if you want to go on a little vacation for two or three days or try to get that sort of going. So I feel like, you know, they're very inspired and motivated in terms of moving things forward. They have a ton of love for you, okay? There's no question about it. Okay, so let's have a look with these tarot cards. So the issue you could be dealing with is the waiting game here because I feel like they want to take their time and they don't want to rush things, okay? And there could be other issues that are coming up in the situation. For example, there might be another person here. You know, if you are involved with the person, let's say for example you're married to an individual, right? And you want to be with another person for, you know, I feel like your ex or the person that you're married to might find an issue with this or might, you know, want to come back into the picture. So the biggest dilemmas you are dealing with right now is, you know, the fact that neither of you are willing to do anything to get this relationship back on the right path. I feel like there's a lack of communication here. And basically, the ego is coming up very heavily from this tarot card here. Okay, so I'm going to be exploring the balance of these tarot cards on the Elite Tarot Society as well as a single extended reading. I'm going to be looking extensively at what you're dealing with and how you can move forward. If you want a personal reading, you can get it at the tarotempress.com. Have a wonderful day and take care.